you want to start by telling everyone how you messed up? Yeah, I messed up. So usually we would order all three cakes to be picked up the same day, except this time I messed up because I was away on vacation with these two lovely ladies and ordered two for today and one for two days from now. So if it seems like we filmed something on a different day, that's probably because we did, we did film something on a different day. Yeah. Thank you so much to Sensodyne for sponsoring this video. We've done like Christmas and Halloween where we gave three bakeries a budget to make a crazy cake. First time was 200 and then 300. Now we're up at 500. It's just so many dollars towards, <laughs> towards cakes. But $500, like I'm expecting something epic. And unlike what I've done before, this time I specifically asked for three dimensional cake, a cake in the shape of something. Cause for Christmas I got round cakes with toppers. Cool, but like, $500, give me something really cool. So like, I'm expecting like big three-dimensional like ice cream cone or like a big ice cream truck or like a gravity defying something. I should also follow this up with that I only gave the bakeries a week's notice. So I really hope they're still able to come up with something really cool within the budget and my expectations. Let's bring out the first one. Okay, this should scream ice cream. Ready? Yeah? <gasps> That's adorable. Oh, that's so well done. I just need to say it, last time I got round cakes with toppers on them. Two tiered round cake, round cake, topper. Ugh. I was expecting something like the whole cake to be three dimensional in the shape of something. With that being said, it's extremely well done. The details are really beautiful. Look at this gold ribbon that's around the cake board. They have some of the sprinkles painted gold and some of the sprinkles here painted gold, and then the cherry stems painted gold, and then some gold leaf up here. And it really just helps tie all of the colors in together. And I love that it's not just like one cone melted, that they've got these two cones. And this one, this would be structurally hard to place, I would think. I've done like a melted ice cream cone cake years ago, but I used a real ice cream cone because I was like, why am I gonna make one? They made one out of fondant, but then they dusted it. If you look at the edges there, like look at how they dusted more onto the edge of like the waffle cone. And that's how like a waffle cone would be. It'd have its edges more, you know, crisped up and like- Toasted. Toasted, yeah. Even here, like they have different borders going on. So this looks like it was like a pearl mold that they did, but then they cut out this pearl here. This bottom tier screams like old fashioned, like retro vibes, but it still all works together. Do I feel this was worth $500? You guys let me know down below. I expected more. Your expectations have to be really high when you have a really high budget. And I think if the timing was an issue, if, if one week turnaround, they couldn't do something crazy, then I think that's where bakeries, they need to express to the customer that I can't do something three-dimensional, but I can do three-dimensional elements, and then I would know what I was getting. And I think that that's usually where a lot of problems come in with customers and bakeries is when you don't really establish expectations and make sure you're both on the same page. What do you think? Like, it's a really- I'm not a fan. I'm not really? A fan. Yeah. Okay. I'm not a fan. I find it like dated in a bad way. Oh, Kevin is coming it's for not, them. It's just, this, is, this bakery is the one that did. This bakery is the same bakery that did the staghorn cake for Christmas that I wasn't overly impressed with. It's just like for $500, melted ice cream come on top of cake. I did that like four years ago. Like we're 2021, we gotta like think outside of the box and get more creative with our designs. I can't wait to taste it at the end of the video with the other cakes, but should we bring out the next one? Yeah. Okay. Before I bring out the next cake, I wanna thank Sensein for sponsoring this video. As a foodie, I love all these National Food Days. Excuse to chat on my favorite things? Yes, please. So you guys know I need to go all out for National Ice Cream Day on July 18th. The thing is, I used to get this painful twinge in my teeth whenever I would eat something cold and it was super annoying. Thankfully, I started using Sentime a while back and I can enjoy all the ice cream I want pain-free. Honestly, I've been pretty lucky compared to Kevin because he's had sensitive teeth almost all of his life, whereas for me, it only started about a couple years ago. Sensodyne is the number one dentist recommended toothpaste brand for sensitive teeth. It's what my mom and Kevin have been using for over a decade and is now what I use. It can even relieve sensitive pain while also building long-lasting protection by creating a barrier over the sensitive areas of your teeth but it still helps whiten enamel and prevents staining so you have strong teeth, but they'll also sparkle. 
Switching to a daily sensitivity toothpaste like Sensodyne Rapid Relief makes it easy to enjoy the foods and drinks you love without the painful twinges of tooth sensitivity. It has been a hot summer already. Don't miss out on the things you love like a scoop or two or maybe three of ice cream. Life's too short for sensitive teeth. Celebrate National Ice Cream Day without making funny faces from sensitivity twinges and try Sensodyne to go back to enjoying ice cream without the pain of sensitivity. One, two, three. <gasps> oh my god! This is what I was talking about. Something that just blows me away. The spoon, Kevin, the spoon. Look at how realistic that looks with all this like texture and grooves and shape. It's got this little whipped cream with a little strawberry. Come on. It smells incredible. It smells like strawberry ice cream. I'm in love. It's so epic. Now this is a $500 cake. This is a National Ice Cream Day cake. My goodness. In the cup, right? It's almost like it's like a clear glass here and then their cup part here and you can see the ice cream showing through and you can see the strawberry drips from inside the glass. Like details. Who would think of that? They did. Is this a real donut? It is a real donut. They've got all these like little chocolates and little popsicles and candy and, and like a slice of funfetti cake on top of it. And it really looks like one of those, was it Frankenstein milkshakes or herbs? Like, like a millionaire's something? Yeah, like a millionaire Sunday or something. I, I have one issue that I need to point out right now. Why? You have an issue? Yeah, I do. I have an issue. One tiny issue. Why are the stems on the cherries white? Oversight. It's just fl white flower wire and you can use green flower wire or you can paint the white flower wire green, and I've done both. Good eye. I'm just like, oh my God, this cake is amazing. He's like, yeah, but what about the cherry stems? <laughs> <laughs> it's so big, but well designed. Look at this like retro kitchen floor cake board, the details with the spoon. Then you have this whole cup and this three dimensional like handle on the cup. And like, look, they've got rivets. I just think it's crazy. They got the theme down pat. I don't know that they could do any better than what this is. I'm just, like, I have no critique. Except for the cherry stems. Except Kevin's critique. The concept, incredible job. The execution, incredible job. The, the creativity to be able to do this, incredible job. I'm at the level of blown away with this as I was that crazy zombie cake. That one was insane levels of details and creativity. It just blew me away. And this one does too, just on a different level. Have we used this bakery before? Yeah, this is the bakery that did the Santa cake. The super creative Santa cake with Santa's butt crack showing when he's like bent over <laughs> underneath the tree? Yeah. yeah. Super creative. It smells so good, I can't wait to bite into it. So this is day two, and why why are you walking me in? Cover wasn't gonna work for this one. Go ahead. <gasps> oh my god! Um, what? Oh my god! How? It doesn't even. You lowered the table and you zoomed out because it doesn't even fit the frame. That's how big this cake is. I can't, I'm like, the first thing that's coming to mind is just like, how did they creatively come up with this? I would probably have done like an ice cream truck or something cool or like a three dimensional cone. I would never think of a ballerina 3D standing unicorn who looks like she's just like striking a pose holding an ice cream up in the air like it's her microphone or something. How did you get this home? <laughs> like so stressfully, every little bump I hit, the whole thing would shake. I'm blown away. Just like full blown happiness, excitement. Like this just makes me so happy. I really wanted people to go crazy. So I'm like $500, but this does not seem like a $500 cake to me. I, I wouldn't even know how to price it. Like I couldn't, I think they went above and beyond because I can't imagine how many hours of time and work went into this and how did they get it standing up? Like that's very straight. Nothing is leaning. Nothing looks like it's about to fall over or fall apart, which, you know, a lot of cakes have. And I'm just gonna take now this second to say one of the cakes from yesterday fell over last night. I came in 
after like a couple hours of shooting and it was falling over on the table. And the thing is, is the cake wasn't perfectly level. It was leaning a little bit to the side. The cake board was too small for the cake that was on top. You could see the dowels, which was like the straws, the supports, two were higher than the other. So no wonder it tilted off to the side when it's already tilted and there was no dowels holding the top tier to the bottom tier, keeping it from falling. I'm curious to see if this one would just stand up over days of time, if it would just continue standing up all majestic-like like this. And you drove with this. Yeah, it survived somehow. Some with like bumps and nobody holding it. Let's go into the details, because I've just been like, whoa. They even covered the cake board in this like retro print of like ice cream goodies. Like what a fine little detail. I think they looked at the budget and were like, what more can we do? What more can we do? I, I love everything. I love the color concept. I mean, you've got pink and white and blue into like the ice cream scoops that are over here. That's trickled up into the fondant and trickled up into the drip. But then that's coming through in, in the unicorn's like mane and the scoops up here, like you really have the colors coming through everything that just ties it well together. The shape of this unicorn, like look how this one leg is straight, but the other leg is just beautifully like delicate, kind of like bent around her and you've got one hoof kind of up and the other one off to the side and you've got her head kind of twisted and tilted like to sculpt something like that, like that's art. I could not sculpt and shape something like this. This is just outstanding and incredible. <gasps> The unicorn um, horn is an ice cream cone. You can see an impression line where a waffle cone has that line. To come up with like, I'm gonna do unicorn with an ice cream cone horn, it's incredible. There are a few, I hate doing this, it's so stunning, but there are a few details that I will point out that look a little messy. If you look under her eye, where she glued on the black fondant, it looks like she got some black schmutz there. And then on her legs here, I can just see some like, it almost looks like dirt marks, but it's not, I think it's like chocolate marks. The huff up here, you can see how it's like really spotty looking with the gold. Here's solid, and then you turn it, and then here's a little bit spotty looking. You can see some lines here. Those are only like little details that you would only have to like search for them. I think the only reason why I'm seeing them is because I am a cake decorator. What do you think? I think it's insane. It has to be mentioned that Creating a, a sculpture like this out of edible material is completely different than creating something with plasticine or clay because you have a time constraint that you need the cake to still be fresh tasting and not get moldy or melt or anything like that. So yeah. like that time constraint. The time be... constraint is so hard. Let's bring out the other two and then I want to cut this one and taste it. So present me has only seen these two cakes, but Comparing these two side by side, I can't believe the difference. Given the same budget, the same concept, and just go creative with it, like $500. Really cute, but wow. What's the flavor of this one? Lemon raspberry, I think. Ooh, well that looks good. Look at that perfect little slice. With like the filling to cake ratio. Mm. Very sweet. Um, the raspberry flavor is really nice, but it's so sweet, really hard to even find the raspberry. You can tell they take, they use fresh raspberry. Like I have like the seeds of it. The lemon's a little, a little dry. Not bad, but it's just a little dry and dense. But the flavor of the lemon cake is really nice. I just find the icing, it's just, it's just too sweet. But the flavors like together, I think work well. Okay, let's cut the one that smells incredible. I don't even know how to cut this. Oh, oh you see? Sneaky little smart devils. I was trying to cut down this little scoop and that's not cake. It's a ball of fondant covered in like chocolate ice cream or icing to like keep it structured so that way it's not like just a big blob of like icing that like melts or whatever it's and it keeps its shape. So yeah, this one's marble cake with strawberry milkshake filling. Oh, it smells so good. How? How do they make cake that tastes like ice cream? It's incredible. It's not too sweet. It's so creamy and so light. It's like a cake met ice cream and they had like a delicious, a delicious baby. Think almost like if a strawberry milkshake was turned into whipped cream. And then the marble cake is just good cake. I mean, it's so moist, like melt in your mouth and it pairs well with the, like the filling perfectly. And I, I, I love that the filling is so flavored, but the cake isn't too flavored. So it just like pops in your mouth. It's almost like Neapolitan. Isn't Neapolitan ice cream like, like strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate? Oh, you people. Future me is going to taste the third cake now. And hopefully these cakes haven't fallen apart 
maybe we can put the three of them together. Holy ice cream. National ice cream day, yeah, you guys nailed it. This one's tiny now because the tear, like I showed, fell apart, but you can see the difference. Like I was blown away by this one because this one just screams ice cream so much when I thought it was so creative and so well done. And then this one is just like creative over the top and I feel like this one played it really safe. We've tasted these ones. What flavor is this one? This is like a decadent chocolate with hazelnut. I'm gonna take a little slice out of the back. Oh, wow. I'd be so worried about putting such like a soft filling like that in like a structure cake that has a big 3D thing on it. Mmm. There's chunks of like hazelnut and wafer and chocolate in the chocolate creaminess matched with like the chocolate cake. You would think that that's a lot of chocolate, but it's not. It is more on the decadent side, I will say, but the cake is light and fluffy. It's a little sweet, but it's not too sweet. But the filling, the filling is just, it's almost like chocolate whipped cream, but then with like chunks of like chocolate candy in it or something. But it's a really good tasting cake. And when you have a cake that looks this stunning, usually you don't get a cake that tastes this good. I still think this might be my favorite flavor though. The smell of like the, the milkshake took it over to the next level and the taste of it was so incredible. I think for cake though, this might be a better cake. These both had such an incredible filling in them. They're just different flavors. Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and like and comment down below what you want to see me do next. And thank you so much again to Sensodyne for sponsoring this video. Life is too short for sensitive teeth. So try Sensodyne and go back to enjoying ice cream without the pain of sensitivity.